Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to assemble clean cover wardrobe from IKEA. That's the one here. Hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You will made my day. It helps a lot. Thank you very much. Let's do it now. We're starting with the middle panel. Two wooden plugs. Just place them in and connect it with the bottom panel. The bottom panel have one side white, which is the inner side, and one is raw MDF. That's the bottom uh, side underside so two screws just join the middle panel two wooden plugs on the top we connect the top panel now both sides are white so you can recognize them when you're gonna put them together and two long screws for the top panel straight to the middle panel we have kind of H shape at the moment that's the whole middle of the wardrobe and this is a side panel so two screws on the top and two screws at the bottom can prepare the side panels so then we're ready to go uh, this is the plastic which is holding the hanging rail so we can position it on the side and prepare the other side panel as well exactly the same we have two screws on the top and two screws on the bottom just place them in the stopper we have two plastic legs just place them in two on one side panel and two on another side panel plastic for the hanging rail and we can place three wooden plugs on each side I'm putting two at the moment I made mistake here so later on I'm gonna put another one on the middle so I've got three wooden plugs on the sides before we connect the side panels can position all the locks so we're gonna have four on the top four at the bottom don't forget to position the arrow in the right direction otherwise you're not gonna be able to um, put the side panels in so the arrow on the lock uh, should face the side of the panel yeah, just place that in there it is and last one on the bottom panel so four on the bottom panel and four on the top panel. Okay, that's the third wooden plug, which I forgot. And we can place the side panels. Just find the right holes on the top and on the bottom. That's the third plug on this side. Okay, just place it in, tap it in. You see, it's going easy. If you uh, put the lock in a wrong uh, position, you're not going to be able to put it in. So just check it out. If it goes hard, it's supposed to go very easy. Just lock the locks, two at the bottom, two on the top. This is going to be the two slim panels, which they're going under the bottom panel. One is white on one side, another one is just raw MDF on the other side, another one is just raw MDF without the white part so the raw one going on the middle and the one with the white going at the bottom other side panel you place the top in and the bottom and the bottom don't go completely in because we're still gonna place those slim panels in and secure the top twist the locks and before you secure the bottom side just place those in this is the one with the white side white side we don't see it now because it's gonna face the front of the water this is the raw one on the middle and we can secure the last side on the side panel connecting with the middle panel at the bottom secure the locks it's all done the front one it has l-shaped bracket bracket which is good thing uh, it's securing the slim bottom panel so it's not gonna break when you position the wardrobe unfortunately the middle one don't have so be careful when you're gonna position the wardrobe so the plastics for the hanging rail this l-shaped brackets Place them on the top we're gonna attach the wardrobe later on on the wall i'm gonna show you how to do that as well back panels we're gonna have two back panels in this wardrobe just place them in one then the other one nicely in everything you have to line up nicely and we can check out if the wardrobe is in the right position that's mean 90 degrees on each corner so just measure from corner to corner and it's gonna have to be exactly the same number and we can place the nails all around start with the corners one corner another corner so then the water is not gonna move if you if you move it uh, by mistake so it's gonna secure the water in the right corner at the end secure the middle 
and that's it we can lift up the wardrobe i would suggest two people for this it's quite heavy don't wanna break your back and we have the two shelves there's four plastic holding each shelf just secure the plastic just place it in and secure it with the screw two hanging rails one on each side with the plastic we place that in before and the plastic door handle just place that in there is no screw or anything like that and another one exactly the same just tap it in and press it hard on it now I'm gonna show you how to put the hinges on. So on this side, where we're doing now is the top hinge. On the other side is kind of plastic hinge. This is the bottom hinge. Just place it in, step it in. No need to use hammer. Don't wanna break it. Just can press on it. This should go in nicely. Here we're gonna put the two screws, just make sure those screws are not, not completely in. Actually, you can put just one, the bottom one at, at the moment. I put it two, I'm gonna remove uh, the one later on because we still, uh, before we put the doors, we have to slide the hinge down. So the one bottom one is fine. The bottom one's two screws on each bottom hinge. And we can do the other side. That's the bottom hinge, two plastic bottom hinges. Just place them in and two screws on each hinge. This is the top top hinges we're gonna do now. Just place them in and see don't do them tight at the moment because no still have to position them when we're gonna do the doors. Now I realize I just need the bottom one so we can take that top one out see the hinge is nicely lining up with the side so we can place the doors in okay we can position the first door the inner doors just slide them in a rail so when they're sliding uh, easy you in the right position you see it's just a hook coming in the rail and sliding nicely so that's how it coming in place the top in the rail so just push it up and secure the top screw and the bottom screw as well so these doors are secure so I'm not gonna end up uh, the doors failing out of the frame exactly the same the other doors the outer doors just find the rail place the hinge in there's no lock or anything they just just placed in once you position the top hinge so you just slide the hinge up you kind of lock the bottom as well the bottom hinges are adjustable so you can just adjust it if you have uh, some space on the side later on or if you have uneven floors you can fix the other side exactly the same on the top just slide the hinge up and place the screw first the top one and then the bottom one See, that's why we didn't push, uh, secure the screws completely at the beginning, so we can position the hinge up or down. In this case, up because we're securing it. Two screws, secure them, pull down. Check if it's sliding nicely, you're in the right holes. This is gonna be stopper on the outer door, so the door's not gonna go over each other. Otherwise, you would be not able to slide it because those door handles are kind of built in. So there's the stopper. It's just the plastic with one screw to secure it in. See, I'm just checking how is the if there is any space on the sides. If yes, you can adjust the bottom hinges. Just unscrew the two screws and uh, twist the hinge a little bit. Okay, we're gonna secure everything on the wall. Check the wall first if there is any electric wires. S simple, drill the hole, choose the right plugs, place the plug in and secure it with the screw. Make sure this one is in completely. When you secure it on the wall, it's much safer, I would say. I would suggest that. And this is the Kuinke, Kuikne, how to say. And this is it, Queen Cavadro Parmakia. Hope you enjoyed. If yes, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget.
See you in my next one. Very, very soon. Have a lovely day.